And here we go. Yo, what's up? Oh, a greeting. Hello. You guys can speak. Hello. How are we all doing today? This crisp Thursday evening. Pretty good, pretty good. That's good, that's good. Any plans mm. for the coming days? Study. You got that one shot on Saturday. Yeah, I do. That's going to be fun. I'm going to spend most of Friday doing that. So uh, that's going to, hopefully I don't, hopefully I don't die, but it's fine. Can't wait for it. It's going to be, it's going to be so fun because there's going to be a lot of shit that gets revealed that I think will, will surprise people. Hopefully. I don't know. My... I plan, I plan to watch this internals one shot goal be reached this session. Stream. Will it though? I don't know. Out. How close are we? Ninety-seven percent, ninety-eight percent. I can get us. I can get us up to ninety-nine uh, k right now. Ooh. Okay. But I might. I might wait till the end of the session. Oh, for the hype. No, I do it now. Oh, just so I have enough to do the full points. All right. Oh, wait, who else how much the... points here? All right. We're we're three hundred away now. I put in. Oh All right, there we go. We reached it. Right, oh, go. okay. Woo. Mm -hmm. All right, so Woo. we'll do. We'll be doing this one shot in a uh, in a good couple of months. Don't expect it to be happening now, but uh, more than likely, it'll be happening sometime in a month or two. Just gotta figure out a good time and whoever's joining it because that'll be uh that'll be a lot. Is the swamp ambience not playing? Or do no. I be tripping? There we go. All right. Welcome to session seven of the War of the Waves. Does anyone want to give us a quick recap of what happened last time? We have a number in our team. Poggies. Poggies, indeed. Yeah, we went down and... Amber staircase, and uh, we found a neat little cave with five statues in it. Uh, one of the statues was a blank, uh, and eventually we sort of activated the other four statues to uh, summon a guardian, and uh, he kicked our asses, but uh, in the end we beat him, and uh, now Sebastian's got an amber eye. All right. Good enough recap. So, yeah. Even more amber. Even more amber. More we we need we need more amber. Okay, we just everything needs to be amber. Hopefully, amber uh, is all I've ever known. Amber is everything we will know. Okay, we began last session with the party going down the amber staircase, and they made their way into a weird-looking cavern under the ziggurat, and specifically deeper into the swamp. They found these weird statues that lined up the back of the cavern. Four of them being very detailed, but one of them being very blank, as if it was missing its features. The four exults appeared above their torches and issued a challenge to the party. If they could defeat the Amber Guardian, one of them would be given a boon. And so, the party fought against the Amber Guardian, whose name is Toral. He's been shown in other campaigns, so if you're interested, you can go look through them. And it was a tough fight, with many people going down, um, but the fight eventually was won in the party's favor and Sebastian got the final kill which means the amber energy began to course through his body and he became the fifth and final exalt of the world of Adir. Having completed the, uh, the, the temple seeing there was nothing else to do the party grabbed the rest of the Sahuagin bodies and began making their way up the up the the center the center uh, the well that was formed in the center there finding that their pine that the pine guards that were here are the vine guards left seemingly with the bodies oh they did leave with the bodies okay so it has been it i know you guys technically didn't spend a day in the temple but for all intents and purposes uh a day has passed since you entered the tavern or entered the the temple below and so, what do you all do? Uh, 
so I, I took the little sogwin eggs out of the thing there in my backpack now. Just letting y'all aware of that. Huh? I need you all to make perception checks for me. Have advantage. 19. Ooh. Who's, uh, who's, who's Mike's been static and like that? Extra crispy. Extra crispy. Yeah. Uh, do I have advantage? Uh, why would you have advantage? From bear. Uh, no, you do not. Just a doing straight perceptions. Ball. Yep, doing perception. I stole 25. Okay. 25 perception. is probably the highest we're going to get. Yep, perception check. Is it for sight or? It's for sight. Okay, so. Oh boy, Reggie Ooh. gets advantage on those. Okay. All right. On a 25 and a 23, you guys take a nice look around the swamp and you notice that the bodies are gone but there there are tracks that lead back to bill bucket so you assume that the this the, the vine guards didn't take the bodies to steal them and take the gold but more or less to um more or less to make sure they don't rot and they aren't taken by any hostile creatures on a 25 someone you see a creature that's kind of chilling in the tree here a weird looking goblinoid creature very tall and lanky also has many different scars across his face, and he has shaggy purple hair, as he's just kind of chilling in the tree, chewing on a piece of uh, piece of grain. Since goblinoids are like my favorite enemy, do what I recognize what this creature, like, what kind of goblin this is. Um, he just appears to be a regular goblin, although he's a lot taller than a normal goblin is. He's about. For reference, most goblins tend to be two to three feet tall. He's around four, four and a half. All right, there's a goblin uh, over here. Oh, you guys are finally awake, huh? That's pretty poggers. When were you asleep? What? Ah, uh, it's metaphorical bullshit. When you were down in the temple, you were asleep. How you, guys, how you guys doing? Sebastian uh, cocks his head. Um. Well, this is a peculiar sight. Yeah, I'm a pretty peculiar guy. You know? Doing things here and there. Oh, I see you're the one with that funky looking eye. Ah. So you're the one I have to watch. You notice no, a, um, a, a silver... Hexagon that is pinned to his chest. Silver hexagon. Mm. Any Sebastian, like, sort of grips his sword. And pray tell, what, what will you be watching me for? Ah, to keep your ass secure. Gotta make sure you don't die. So, you're my bodyguard. Yeah, why not? My name's Jesus. <laughs> Pleasure. Sebastian Runesaber. What is with the hexagon on your chest? Almost as if he uncharacteristically switches to a different voice. Ah, well that hexagon is, well, it's a group of, ah. Uh, hmm, how do we answer this, G? I don't know, Garan. Um, it, it's a, it's a, it's a sigil, uh, for our group of adventurers. We'll call it the Refracted. Hey, I'm the only one allowed to change my voice. Yeah, I told you to shut the fuck up, Garan. Well, You don't need to be so harsh, G. Uh, hate that guy. He's totally weird champ. What are you saying? Say the name is Jesus. Yep. He 
Interesting. Well, let me let me jump off this tree to greet you. Did I? Hop, hop, hop. And almost acrobatically, he jumps across from the branches over to this side of the ziggurat. Pleasure to meet you all. Um, Sebastian holds out his hand. He shakes it with his very uh, spindly fingers. Pleasure to meet you. He does yeah. not smell the best. He smells like swamp. Sebastian reels back and wipes his hand on his coat. <laughs> hey, I'm not that dirty. Sebastian so takes a big whiff and like... It's, it's All right, I didn't... Uh, I, no, don't sniff me, please. Uh, I was sniffing the air. You, you just smell like That's swamp. even weirder. Don't sniff me. Ah. Friend, are you okay? Have you got the static sickness? One second. Oh, that was you. Static sickness, is, it, it wiped out thousands of people in 100 years ago. I've heard a lot about it. Uh, I will also uh, give him a hand. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure. Roll me an Arcana check, because as a as a wizard, you would more than likely see this. Sebastian, you can make it as well. Oh, okay. He gives oh, off two different energy types. One of 28. He gives off psionic energy, but he also gives off radiant energy, as if there's two conflicting sides of magic to him. Because he's, um, because you rolled a natural 20... He is, a, he is what is called a splitkin, where the soul of someone, or, or two souls, converge onto one body at birth. It's almost seen as when two people die at the same exact moment within the universe, their bodies are linked, and then their, their, their souls converge into one new body. Uh, I was wondering what was wrong with you, and now I see. Yeah, I'm one of them weird fucks. The kind that, like, get imprisoned in carnivals and shit. N not what I meant. You know, you know, I, I, I did... Before before I came here, get this. He, 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 like, puts his hands out as if he does the boy, the boy meme. So get this. This fucker. I was, I was on an airship. And this fucker grabbed me by the scruff of my collar... And threw me off the airship. Right? So, like, I, I, I was like, oh, shit. As I fell hundreds of feet in the air. And I landed in a carnival. And then there were other people like me. I'd never seen other split kin before. It was quite weird. I have to admit. Shut up, Garan. It, 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 was, it was weird. There was three of them. I'd never seen that many people in one area before. However, we escaped. And we left. And I haven't seen them in a while been a long time actually the creature is clearly mad man support the story why did i why did i get did stuck I... with the prick exalt sadness uh have <laughs> i seen him before at the carnival back in Ooh, roll me a d100 <laughs> slash r1 d100 You have not. All right. Uh, Lavalin will ask him. Can we talk to your? Uh, how to say it? <laughs> uh, I'll give me one more. <laughs> it's okay. I'll wait. How are you? Howdy. Um, I'm just a little bit take, taken aback at the moment. <laughs> yeah, people say my personality is quite appalling. I'm like, who the hell's Paul? So can I have your <laughs> audible face palm? <laughs> can we talk to your smarter side? Wow, I'm pretty smart. That was kind of rude. I mean, he it has... It took me that long to come up with... With that 
Well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this guy has two souls inside of him. Uh, well, yes. Said. Finally, it's my time for control over this measly goblin. Yes. Hello, I'm Garan. How can I help? Okay, so why why are you here? So to protect us only. I have been commanded by acquaintances to protect him. Okay, so something I... something 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 get him to a meeting in Alverhold. Do you guys know where that is? Wait, to where? No. In Alverhold. It's a big city in Dumont. Uh why do we have to go there? There's a big meeting, there's a big meeting of people there discussing many different things across the continent, including the Amber, which, I mean, look at him. Look at him. Hmm. He screams Amber. Did I say I could, did I say you could take over without control? Shut the fuck up. As he pushes himself down. Amberhall, you see. Yeah. However, I don't think we'll make, or, I don't think we'll make it in time. I love Alan, he's visibly shaken. <laughs> I don't think we'll make it in time. Yeah, I have a couple of friends that are across the continent grabbing the other x -ups. We got like three of them. Well, now with you, that makes four. So if we want to make it in time, we don't have to go there, right? Well, the big guy in charge wants all five x together. I see. Yes, I've met two of them already. One you and you've met them. Sal, I think it How? was. How did you meet them? Well, it's it's quite fascinating, really. I point to my eye. We seem to be able to communicate in almost a sort of hub world. All right, I'm bored. Uh, so, in any case, we should probably head back to Bill Bucket. Oh, yeah. Um, the guys that were here, the the husky dudes covered in vines. Um, yeah, they said they were just returning the bodies back to Bill Bucket. You shouldn't have to worry about them stealing anything from you. Are you just going to be uh, watching us and following us around until we attend this meeting you're talking about? If you want me to leave, I can. I can I can be of pretty good use. My goblin body lets me stealth pretty easily. If you want me to be a scout, I can. Or if you want some cool jokes, I can also be here and help. Please make yourself scarce. I like okay. I like jokes. Alright, and he's going to Party. stealth. All right. You know, Sebastian, this is one of the few times I think we agree on something. And in oh, yeah. two jumps, you watch as he disappears. He jumps into this thicket and disappears. You don't see him. Again. Thank the gods for that. Just well, because that I'm quite... gone, I'm still watching over you. That was quite strange. Telepathically in Bobblin's head. Uh, so, I'm gonna just, so uh, why don't you want to go to Elvaher? <laughs> Whatever that place is called. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, can I respond to that particularly or no? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's like a it's like a message spell, mm -hmm. except it's except you can actually have a full conversation. I see. Uh, well. You see, I might not be wanted there. <laughs> Wait, to my understanding, being wanted somewhere means, like... No. Mm. Uh, let's, let's just... If we really are going to go there, I need some coverage on my... Or, like, these guys. Uh, why aren't you... Want it there? Uh, I, I think he's trying to say that he's a uh, want. Hey, hey, you can't hear this. You can't. I think. I think he's a criminal. 
I think he's a criminal. Hey, get out of the conversation. I have You're psionic like, yeah, powers yeah. too, dipshit. Fuck, I, I I need to hit the Y key. Hey, no. T key. I realize this now. Okay, oh, well. I'm gonna fuck off. Uh, wait, 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 before. Before you do. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. Can you can you help this situation that I have? What you said? Well, I don't really want to show myself in Alverhold. Well, you're in luck. By the time we get there, the meeting's more than likely concluded. I see. We so need uh matter. we need special boy to contact his other special boys and or ladies and find a place to meet. All right. Um, uh, being honest, uh, when you said you have psionic... What's going on over here? You oh. can't hear us. We're talking through mind shit. Yeah. Uh, Did I hear that? Yeah. <laughs> well, why are you all just... We're having, having, a, we're having a little powwow, buddy. You have conversations of your people, we can have ours. Can you walk and talk? Y yes, yeah, so I, I, I'm in agreement with Sebastian here. I, I was under the assumption we were already walking. Uh, <laughs> no. Well, uh, no, you were just kind of standing there for a while, actually. We are doing the walking and the talking. That was Falcon. Um, right. Also, I'll send um Reggie to fly overhead and um check out Bill Bucket. Okay, roll me a D100. Uh, Okie dokie. Um, can I continue talking to Goblin? Yeah. So, uh, when you said you have psionic powers too, I said, I realize this now, but I actually have no idea what that means. It's powers in the mind, friend. Let's you do fucky shit. Like, watch. You suck. See? He won't know what hit him. Did I hear that? You did. So what uh, I can do is call the... I'm so cool. So All right. I'm confused. I'm... Yeah. What are you confused about, friend? Uh, I was I don't know how to do this and then I was told it's a dream, but now there's a whole other thing to this. Oh, what are your what are your powers? We might be we might have two different powers here. Uh I can talk to people's minds and if I touch someone with a glowy hand, I can see the past and future. And if I touch someone with a glowy hand in a different way, I can like reverse them back to before they got hurt. Man, you said a lot of words there, friend. I believe that is dream power. That's different from his psionic power. His power Allows for him to shut the fuck up. It allows me to warp the mind, friend. <laughs> I can do things like say fuck you to that guy and he'll be like, well, where did that come from? Kindred spirits or something. I don't know. I talked to a, I talked to a, what do you call them? A fortune teller? Hey, I'm a fortune teller. Yeah, he told, he told me my fortune. And then he went insane. Mm. And then I stabbed him. And took his money. And burned his church. Are you sure he was insane? Not as much as he was very... Uh, distraught by you stabbing him. And just started yelling. Because they were in great pain from the stabbing. Tomato, tomato, friend. Okay. You guys can you guys can set yourselves up here as normal. Reginald, see anything? Uh, no. He noticed that there is it. It is still raining, and there's the over 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 top canopy that kind of blocks out a lot of the sun. There appears to be mm. normal movement. Uh, however, there appears to be some newer people that have entered town, and they make their way to the tavern. Oh, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Hmm. I was sitting here all cool in hopes that people would talk to me. 
Sadness. Lonely. And that person was sitting all cool I'm like it wanted me to talk. Nah. Wait. What is she doing? She's sitting on the on the branch. All cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Have I seen you around here before? Yes, I was in the tavern. I'm Divrani, oh, I'm right. the wave strider. You all seem to have gotten tougher. A couple of guards brought in a shit ton of fish. Ah, uh, yes, those were ours. Oh, looks like my assumption was right. They're gonna have a cookout. Where we cook them alive and eat them. Not alive, they're dead. But cook them and eat them. Yes, I was about to say that. So hogwood meat sure is yummy. Uh, I'll I'll take your word for it. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm just playing. We're we're not we're not cooking them. Just turn them in the compost or something. I don't know. They don't deserve even that. Fucking fish. What are you uh, doing out here anyway? Just loitering about or? Oh, I was actually well. I was on guard duty. Dakota wants me to uh, do a couple of rounds. Fair enough. He wanted me to watch the uh, the western exit, ensure that nothing was uh, nothing was amiss. But if you guys were coming from this direction, then I'm sure everything's all fine, right? You didn't see anything? I don't think so. We had uh, that owl over there scout ahead. Oh, I should. I should, well, at least let you know that there are some new people in town. They're a bit odd. Odder than what you would normally find here. That's quite a statement. I know. Are they literal otters? What an odder thing to ask. I respect that. And no, they're not. One of them's a minotaur, though. Pretty cool. A lot of them live in the swamp, but I guess we have, we don't really see them often. Just keep it. Just just keep your eyes out. I don't I don't really trust newer people. Well, you seem to trust us well enough. Eh, you're all capable. I mean, you noodled White Scar. That shows something. Well, thank you for the heads up. She gives you a nod. All right. You you find Tammy and Gumbo, by the way, new Gumbo art, new Gumbo art. Drawn by Nan. New art, new art, new art, new art. All right. And Gumbo is appearing to uh, to be crouching over someone's dead body. Yeah, he got stabbed a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah, I, I, could, I could tell. That ain't my work. Something much better than about what I could do. Uh, hello, organ stealer. Yo, I like that nickname. How you doing? Well, I, I'm only calling because I don't remember your actual name. My name's Gumbo. Capital G, right, capital Bo. Who the fuck is this guy? I don't like him. Um, do they notice anything interesting about these two? Um, not necessarily about them, but you notice behind them there is a dead body that is clearly cut up in a in a um of in a diamond pattern. Like in the chest, there is a diamond cavity and then a swirl, as if a sign of something. It's very weird and very off-putting, because it looks like. It was done in a professional way. It's like obvious. Yep. So, uh, what's with the attack of the diamond swirl organ? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Looks, uh, looks weird. Well, uh, if you give me 10 minutes, I can figure out what happened. You're one of them necrophiliacs? I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't want you touching no dead bodies, man. It's fucked up. It is fucked up. Sebastian covers his mouth to not chuckle. 
that 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 was good. That, that was a good one. Yeah. He gives you like little finger guns. <laughs> well, I I hmm. Gumbo, don't take his organs. Hey. Hmm. How thank long you, is this thank you for the gift here? Like an hour, I think. It it we we just we just saw it like five minutes ago. So I I don't know, but assuming that no one has said anything, either he's been dead and no one really cared, or it's been here for an hour. Or or for a longer longer amount of time than an hour. Um, can I examine the body? Sure. Give me yeah, medicine check. I want you to. You guys can give me medicine checks. Ooh, okay, 17. Mm. Let me, uh, let me find the notes for this body. And we can pog and we can champ. All right, so um, you find the diamond in his chest cavity, but there's also a weird... The spiral in said diamond is cut in half, and in that cut, or that slice that is cut in half, you find specks of amber that cover the wound. Uh-oh. Something to note on a 17. Sebastian's kind of just peering over Khaled's shoulder. There's Amber in the wound. Amber, you say? Sebastian yeah. takes it's a closer odd. look. Like Amber Stone? I know a person named Amber Stone. Well, well no, it's not, it's, not a, there, it's not a person in, in the wound, but Oh. Like, oh, there is amber in there. What the fuck? I can't use their organs. Man, no, fuck this so shit. Happened. And Gumbo just walks away. Um Who is this person that's the dead person? He's just a you random know, person. Now that I think about it, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know, looking at their person, they appear to be pretty important. I don't remember. They have the, the, the getup of a cleric of some kind. Hmm. Cleric. Um, can I tell, like, like, can I see, like, religious symbols? Well, maybe religious certain, like, kind of cleric. I would also like to do that. Alrighty, give me a religion check. Anyone can. Oh, uh I purposely spaced out there to see if he tries to steal my organs again. What happened? <laughs> Guys are going uh, pretty low. Oh, 13. We're all, right. all heathens. We found Amber in the body. Ah. In a dead body. Okay, you specifically find the body of... I can find them. Of... one is it why am i blanking yeah the the holy symbol is of a uh of a golden pocket watch which is partially broken like the hands of the pocket watch do not move at all broken pocket watch that is sad would recognize this you would no yeah. Why do I not remember? That's fucking weird. Wait. Oh, that's a symbol of Torin. Huh. Wait, it is. Wait, did we have a Torin paladin here? I believe so. If I didn't Sabmud. I'm a follower. Uh... 
Victorian. But you're not. You're not him. I'm not a pet. I'm not like. Are you him? I like, need to go lay down. No, no, I'm. I'm not a. Pet. I'm just kind of like. You will bring bad juju. Does. All right. Man. Well. Man, I'm sorry, but I need to lay down. Can I make a medicine check? Well, this is all very odd. Yep, you can make a medicine check. Alright. I am confusion. Insufficient. Nice. Alright, let me show you the real medical master. Hmm. I... He's dead. Can I? Oh, Sabmo, do can you I think you could check on the body? You want to do dream here? Uh, no, just a regular medicine check on the body. You did. No, I said, can I make a medicine check on her? Oh yeah, you can make a medicine check on her. No, that's what I rolled for. Oh, um, well, if you want to do one on the body yeah. as well, you can. All right. Thirteen. Apart from what you already know, the body appears to be drained. Any blood that has been left in the body has been drained. Its veins have popped out as if um, it's in the stages of losing its blood and all that. But after an hour of being killed, that's very weird. That's not normal. So uh, I can use my... Uh my past site to look into this. I have some other stuff I could, but should I use it on this? You better use it on this. Alright. Uh, I wouldn't have given this a second glance, but the amber is quite peculiar. Yeah, alright. I said much starts charging up his gold. Go to sleep here. Alrighty. So. Let me click the ability for you. Based on my rules so far today, I'm gonna make them throw all these. Though. Do you have this ability here? Probably not. I thought you did. I guess you do not. Okay, but I have it here. I need you to make me a wisdom save first. Yep. Come on. Okay, 20, you succeed. Um, I will only show you one event. And specifically, you see the, you see the paladin of Torin as he walks down this lane here, or this road here, there is a call, there is a, a whistle that grabs his attention into this direction. And as he walks over here to check out what this disturbance is, there is a large figure that hulks behind him, grabs him by the neck lifting him up and as his like as other figures begin converging inwards a person blows a blow tor or a blow dart into his stomach and it begins to suck the blood out of his stomach as he falls down to the ground and almost expertly carved daggers begin flying out into the air and cover that symbol onto his chest as his eyes roll back and he falls dead what kind of creature is this big? Looks like a giant from what you've seen. Something that isn't native to this area, that's for sure. A large hulking creature. Mm, the, would Sam be able to recognize, based on a serious research into giants, would you be able to recognize what kind it is? You can't get out. You can't get out very specific figures in or very specific features in your dream here, but um, from what you make me an investigation check. All right. See if you can glance anything. Okay, investigation. Um, its skin appears to be a dark brown, which makes you think it's a hill giant. Peer over. Mm. 
Well, I'm parched. Mm. Is, is Samud in great pain again? Yep. Oh, God! Ah! Oh. Oh, why does it hurt every time? Sebastian oh. walks over and like, it's like, sort of like shakes him. This isn't, you shaking me isn't gonna help. It just makes my head hurt more. I don't what deal good he? under pressure. I'm going to take one of your rooms in the in the tavern. Wait, wait, wait! Before you go, your the the other soul seems quite, pretty smart. Does it? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, do you know why I'm in great pain every time I do that? Well, your body isn't trained in dream magic. You're simply using power that you cannot use. And it takes a great toll on your body. How, uh, how do I train to be able to use it? I don't know. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a life cleric. I don't really deal in that kind of stuff. Alright. Um, thank you for telling me that I am not Anytime. good enough. Anytime. Alright. Sebastian grabs Sabmud's chin and turns him to face him. What did you see? Ah, uh, that hurt. You're, like, so much taller than me. You, like, pulled my neck back. Uh, so, there was... Okay, so the ballad was there, and then there was Whistle, and then this hill giant, yes, a hill giant, uh, was here. I don't know how no one saw the hill giant around here, uh, but it was here, and it killed the dude with daggers. Which is very surprising. Well, actually, he, sna he snapped the guy's neck, ne kind of, but uh, then he carved with the dagger. It was hill giant. Y yeah. A hill giant? I've never heard of hill giants just murdering for the sport of it. You know, I was very mm. sad like to meet a giant one day, and and then it was this. Perhaps it didn't have its wits about him. Something controlling it? Or maybe it just wanted blood. Because it, it sucked the blood out of the guy. But the carvings and the amber. I also didn't get like a, like, like a future. I only got the past. I didn't get a future this time. Well, we're getting nowhere just standing here. Let's report to Dakota. I'm gonna go ask her if she saw anything. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, how, how long have you have you been over here? A couple hours. Did you see anything that came from that that direction, like a? Mm. A hill giant is what I've been told. Hill giants don't live in the swamp. Weird. Yeah, but... I, mean, I saw those new adventurers come in, but they seemed pretty normal. Did you see a, a paladin come in over in that area? Points back again. I don't think there were any paladins in town. Well, I mean, we just found a, a dead paladin. Right by where the, uh, the empty shop is. That's and peculiar. They, we, we looked into it, and he, it looks like he was killed by a hill giant. Oh, that's very strange. And it show happened me, right over here. Show me where this body is. I'll take a look at it. All right. What the hell? All right. You go back to the tavern. I'll take a look at this. Alrighty. Alright. You guys move in. Opening the tavern door, you see Sen playing on his banjo in the uh, in the little foyer room here. You guys walk past the adventurers who seemingly are talking amongst a uh, amongst a, somewhat of a feast. Yeah, Sebastian glanced over them and just kept walking. Okay. Yeah. But not like not at sin. Howdy, friend.
Glad to see you made it back alive. Yes, despite the very visible uh, wounds I had. Well, yes, somebody said call the battle experience. I call it pain. Little pain never heard in the swamp. How you doing, uh, Jemai? Bing, 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 bing. Who? Well, yes, he's dead. Who's Jemai? Who's Jemai? <laughs> you, oh, friend. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm all right. I, I wanted to ask you, Emperor. Yeah. So how long do you think I would wonder, like, you know, um, like, in your world after my backstory, and then I got to here. Like, how long would that be? <laughs> um, did you come here on purpose, or did you just wander here? No, I wandered. Couple of months. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're doing yeah. this on foot and you're not like actively running yeah, somewhere, yeah, yeah, it would have yeah. been on foot. Okay. <laughs> so, is there a mirror, like here? Yeah, there's a mirror here. Leveling is gonna like just sit here. Okay, you sit there. Us. Yeah, and he's gonna look into himself and like remind himself of, of what happened in Alverholt. He's going to stare at himself and he's not sure if he is ready to go back there. And like he's just glancing and at himself. You notice that your facial hair has grown a little bit <laughs> since you've walked. It covers the scars pretty well. That's good. Uh, in your head, I'll have to wait. Uh, so, Jim, I, is that uh, an old name? <laughs> roll, me, roll me a religion check. Who? Uh, Lavalin. Okay. That's actually the name of one of the gods. His name is Rusan. He's the patron deity of the gnomes. And his one of his monikers is Gemai. Oh. I don't know if he's mocking me, but it's a name of one of the gods. Oh, I just thought he was saying Jimmy really weirdly. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just not realizing, hey, your eye does have a gem in it, huh? It can't have a gem, huh? I didn't realize that. Yeah, it's all sorts of fucked up. You, you wanna talk about it? Well, you see, I never really told that to anyone because I felt like I always was on the run, but I was, I am from Alverholt and uh, I've made a terrible mistake. I I don't know what happened, but I wanted to save the love of my life and when it when it happened, when I tried to save her, I destroyed everything that I had. The guards came in, they kicked me out. I. I, I don't know if I can go to, back there. My master has banished me, my my people. I don't know if I even can call them, but... Um, okay, so there are some keywords you mentioned that Sama gets a deep reaction to, specifically banished. My people tried to save them, destroyed everything. He has very, <laughs> like, very big reaction. Oh, we're, we're doing sad backstories. Uh, I guess it's my turn now. Uh, see, sad mud, that's a, that's a really dumb, dumb name, right? It's, it's not a name, it's, it's a title for me. Uh, uh, so back in my villas, 
uh, a horrible creature attack. And my mom was like the chief this, and I was the one who could save them. I was close to the pins. We had giant owls that we would fly on. Uh, I was close to the pins, and I could have let the owls out, and well, then the owls would have been able to carry my family to safety. But I saw this horrible creature, and I froze in fear. And because I froze, I wasn't able to get the owls out, and my family, they all kind of died from the creature, because I uh, was afraid. My mom came over and got a pin, and that owl was able to grab me and her, and uh, fly us out of their safety, but... My mom, when we made it out of there, see uh, that mud turns around and uh, like lifts up the back of his cloak, and you see like a like a kind of a tattoo that ha of a bird with a glass through it. See, disowned me from our clan that was no more. Um, never to return or call myself a member of what used to be at our clan until I can prove myself, whatever that means. So, I understand where you're coming from. I really do. Tears ah, is flowing I am, on his I am, face. I am very sorry for you. But, well, at least you're not the one that killed your loved one. But I could have stopped them from being killed. Was... It's not your, f it's not your fault. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to do from here. I guess we can try to keep moving forward. Well, okay. So. Okay. Wipes like the tears from his face and let's meet up with the group. All right, back in the uh, back in the main chamber. Okay, are you guys moving in? Yeah. Oh yeah, if we have time. Okay. This this guy here, very gray skin, appears to be elven in nature. Gives you guys a wave as you're walking down. A little nod. He gives you a nod of respect. I will like try to wipe off my tears and I will nod. He'll, ca he'll will cast go. he'll cast pres uh, prestigitation and remove the tears from both of your faces. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> he'll give you a nod and a thumbs up. <laughs> nod and thumbs up. Yeah, same. <laughs> you go get him, champ. Okay, back in the main room. Well. All right, give me your status report. I want to hear want to hear how that temple went, that ziggurat or whatever it's called. Ah, I think welcome. this issue with the Sahag one's a lot more complicated than uh, we might have originally thought. We found evidence of Yinogu and his interference there. Motherfucker, I hate Yinogu. Uh, I was hoping it would just be as simple as wiping out the temple and they'd be gone. But I guess that was wishful thinking, huh? In any case, the temple is clear for now, at least. And mm. I'll wave to whoever has who has the the heads and stuff, or what do we collect? Ah, uh, yeah, the vine guard brought them over here. How many? How many were there again? Oh, I'm not sure. I just, I don't. I didn't sully my hands with that business. Looks at Korzu. How many Sahagwin Sahu again were there? It was like mm -hmm. nine or eleven or twelve, something like that. 
yeah if, if you guys are having problems seeing chat bubbles and pointers you have to refresh the uh the, the browser because oh. i know some other campaigns are having that issue too where they can't see the uh they can't see the, the thing sometimes anyways i think i said 100 gold pieces per sahagwin i don't really remember let me let me check real quick i have oh, it in my we ledger killed here. like 15. yes I thought it was 200. <laughs> I think Korzu's calculating how many dead there were. I, 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 gen I genuinely think it was 200, though. Because I remember there was talk of being able to afford plate mail. And what time of day is it, Tempo? Um, it is permanently set to evening because of the because of the lack of sunlight here. Until when it's nighttime, then it's uh, then it's very much night. But it's permanently dusk, I guess we'll say. Okay. Um, for each eye head that is given to him, Dakota will pay the gold a hundred gold pieces. We had 13, and then we had one that was brutalized that mm. we weren't sure about. All right, well, I looked over the corpse of that one that was killed. Y'all are some vicious motherfuckers. Um, I can give you 1,400 gold together. Um, sure. That sounds splendid. Sebastian just has his, like, feet on the table. He's leaning back tired i see you've finally reintegrated into swamp culture huh putting your feet up on the desk i like it as he takes his feet up and puts them up onto the onto the table too ah uh, nothing better than a couple of couple of lads relaxing we can go shoot some goblins later if you want he doesn't respond man poorly timed joke Okay, so Dakota's personalities are a lot different from the first couple times we talked to him. Is that just like a, a, a like a, it's been a while kind of thing? Or yeah, it's, like, it's been a while. Okay, okay. All right. Like back on to be suspicious about. Back on to serious news. I guess my humor didn't really work on y'all. Um, all right. I, I'm, I'm not the only one who saw those new people in the tavern, right? They no. seem nice. Hmm. Well, if you didn't, there's a group of new adventurers uh, out in the tavern. They don't really talk much, but from what I heard, they are here to go out into the out to the east and look at some Tachai settlements or something. I don't know. I don't know much about it. They they're giving us a lot. Of, they're, they're giving us money for lodging and all that good stuff. If you're interested in looking into that, you can. But if not, I don't really have any jobs for you till now. Um, a lot of our merchants have been leaving the city, though. That's a problem. So, um, I don't really know how to help you in that situation if you're looking for any magical items or things of that ilk. Sebastian perks up. Magic items, you say? Yeah, I told you we don't have them. Merchants have been moving out. That gilded guy left a couple of days, uh, couple, not a days, but a couple of hours ago. We just missed him, actually. Well, if our business is concluded... I'll be going to my room. You can send my payment. Well, the chest, the chest is right behind me. Kind of cocks his head back. See, there's a chest, a small little chest behind him. Bastion walks out. I guess I will pick it up. Okay, you pick it up, and it is very heavy. Yeah, <laughs> I figured. I'm gonna, like, uh, struggle and put it on the table. Huh, you need me to help with that? It's fine. Uh, but let me let me help you. He carries <laughs> it with one arm. Where would you like me to take it? Uh just put it here. Okay, he puts it down. So You're doing you're doing good. Pats you over the head. Yeah, thanks. 
All right, I'll let y'all get some sleep. Y'all are probably tired. I have some things I have to work on. Scratches the scales on his neck. Ugh. Man. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for the temple ta uh, temple quest. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some roaring clerics coming in sooner or later. We could use some clerics around here. I feel like we've been, I feel like we've been losing, losing people. I, I don't really remember. I mean, weird. Isn't like your goblin in the town killing everyone? Gumbo? Nah, Gumbo never heard a fly. I see. Sure, I mean he 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 he, ta he takes the organs of the dead, but. I mean, shit, any, any respectable person would do the same. If I died, like my organs taken, given to someone who can't fight for themselves. Uh-huh. But, of course, I'd never die. I'm a, I'm a fighter. Uh... Anyways, he straightens his coat. If you need anything, I'll be... I'll be around. You always know. Um, I think we're going to scout out the coastline soon. So look, be on the outlook for that. In case we need extra men, I might call upon you guys for some more gold. We want to see if there are any Sahu again out east. Well, anyway, I'm going to turn to the group. Who's taking the money? Well, Sab, do you want to hold on to it again, or uh, maybe me or Corzu? Okay. Takes face out of uh, Augie. Uh, I can hold on to it again. Uh, also, there was, and I pulled the 400 gold, I think it was. I need to check my notes real quick. 500 gold? Alright. That I that got found in the temple? Yep. That, that, yeah. Uh, there's also this that got found. Yeah, alright. It's hanging here. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it. Okay. Can I hand it over? Gold gain. Um, you got 1400 gold plus 500, so. Um, and plus Dakota left a little extra in there, so you have an equal 2,000. Okay. We now have 2,270 gold. Well, just hang on to it for now. Seems like most of the merchants have up and left. Yeah. So, what do we want to do? I'm gonna go drink my problems away. Goodbye. Same. Got it. Discussion for another day. <laughs> Korzu, I'm gonna go see what those new adventurers are all about. You wanna come with? I like this idea. I can't do anything, though. If we run into issues. Why would we run into issues? I'm just saying if it happens. <laughs> I don't think we're going to have a bar fight or anything we shouldn't but just if it happens all right noted anybody want to come with to meet the new guys uh they're they're nice at least one of them is so uh. i guess i can go with you well if they're nice that's a good sign So, Scope, do you think everything's all good for our expedition soon? I, I think it should be. I can uh, I can do another routine check of the swamp tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I think that'll sound good. Oh, hey! How are you? Hello. Hello. Ah, you all seem like the adventuring type. Yes, I think you're the first other, uh, well, complete group we've seen. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, um, we're, we're a bunch of friends that like to explore and like to learn about the history. I'm Wynn, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, pleasure. Uh, who's your DM? Ah, 
Good question. Um, well, if you're looking for our leader, that's him. His name's End. He doesn't really talk much. Uh, he he I does see. like a... He like turns his head back. You can't even see his face as it's obscured in his cloak as he just gives you a nod. This right here is Scope. Oh, it's a pleasure. This is Monocle. And this is Bulwark. Bulwark just huffs. Oof. My name is Lavalin. Ah, it's a pleasure, Lavalin. Um, I'm a cold sap mud. Here, you can just bring bring the table right here. We can all we can all set up and have some dinner together. That'd be nice. Thank you. And, um, yeah, it'll be I'll on push us. Push the table in. All right, you push the table in, and you guys begin to eat. Or eat. Is this your full party? No. Ah, who else is here? Uh, one of us turned in early. <laughs> I'm uh, yeah, I guess I need for you to sleep. Oh, oh, is it that weird-looking gold person? Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's one. the one. Ah, I assume so. Looks mighty peculiar. What's up with his eye? Can we uh, roll? Right. Like, no, can we roll sure about that? <laughs> can we roll insight before that? <laughs> sure, you can roll insight. Because this is fucking fishy. Yeah, okay. Roll insight. Yeah, you can roll insight. Okay. okay. Since you beat his check, both of you beat his check. He appears to be gleaming some sort of information about your group. Uh, well, he's always been like that. Both his eyes and that uh, tattoo on his head. Uh, well, I'm, I just asked because I've never seen tattoos like that. Coming from the pine, we don't really see tattooed people much. From the pine? Yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't know the Ravenna Forest? I'm gonna say no. Does Sabla know the Ravenna Forest? I would say yeah. You you lived you lived in there, didn't you? Uh, yes, but Sabla was very isolated, so I don't. He knows not much. That's still considered the Ravenna Forest. I thought he lived in. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you're from. Ah, oh, I'm from the Ravenna Forest as well. Oh, where are you from? Oh, that's, uh, I don't speak the name. Wait, and who was he asking? He, he was asking Sabmud. I'm trying to recall the information where he lives. Hold mm -hmm. on. It, it was a hidden village populated by the entirety of, like, Justice family. And that uh, was, was what the information. Yeah, I'm I'm looking for uh, looking for this character because I'm reading up on his backstory. Hold one moment. Okay. Oh, hmm. Oh, here's one from uh, those hidden villages. I'm from this. I'm from. Uh, I'm from another one myself. I'm from Yevlin. It's a small city. Small little village, actually. Life is. Uh, when did you leave the pond? He rolls his eyes back as he's recalling information. I left there a long time ago. I couldn't stand the people there. There was this one kid whose bubbly personality I just couldn't really stand, so I just left. <laughs> Wait, one kid made you leave? It wasn't that, it's just, I was sick of the, I was sick of the druidic nature. I wanted to explore, I wanted to learn, I wanted to see people. I couldn't really stand living there anymore. So I made the trek outside of the forest, which was very dangerous, and I made my way through. Yeah, the forest is a bitch to get through. 
I do wonder if he's okay. He did talk about wanting to leave the forest. But not my not my fault. I don't care if he dies. Shrugs. Sure. How much right. He seems to have conflicted feelings about said person. He cares about him, but he also doesn't care about him. His personality annoys him, but something allures him to the to the younger lad. Hm. When when we don't talk about ourselves to vent. Uh, it's okay. These people are trustworthy. So what? So what you all here for? Not a lot of people come to Bill Bucket. Well, actually, we just finished a job for Dakota. Oh? Hmm. Oh, yes, probably um, dealing with the fish, I would assume? Yes, that's right. And, uh, well, we're looking for work right now. And actually, we heard that you're uh, preparing for some... Expedition for uh, looking for the Tachai. His face lights up after healing, hearing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we're actually planning on going out east to look and find a Tachai village. We've heard reports that there might have been a, a band of Minotaurs that have been causing issues or something. We wanted to go there and also take a look at a Tachai village. We've never seen one before. Uh, does the Minotaur in their party like react when they say that uh, Minotaurs have been causing trouble? Yeah, he does. He huffs slightly. No, I'm not talking about you, Bull. <sighs> Sorry, he gets he gets sensitive when we talk about his people. Well, perhaps we could join you if you need some extra hands. We uh, well, that would be wonderful. Well, honestly, don't have anything to do right now. That would be wonderful. However, let's stay and well, let's stay and let the night. Stay and let have, let's have a party for the night, you know? No point in letting the doom and gloom of the swamp get to us. Hey, the swamp isn't all doom and gloom. You just gotta stop and smell the horrible, horrible scents. I prefer really not to, but I can see that. What about the rest of you? I, I feel like I'm the one doing the most of the talking. You look peculiar. Why? Not often we see many veiled people. Yeah, just my god. Oh, you follow her. Huh. Yeah. And? Oh, nothing of it. Just her people are very interesting to us. Can I roll insight on that? <laughs> sure. I would love to see your experiments sometime. Experiments? He seems to be telling the truth. They both, these two seem to have an odd curiosity towards experiments. Oh, you didn't. Do you not know about your god? She's the. I mean, I know some. Not everything. She. She likes to study, um, lesser known experiments. And I've always found myself taking a liking to those kinds of things. Hmm. Maybe when I see one someday. Oh, you don't do them yourself? No. Maybe eventually. Uh. This one looks like he's done many experiments. Look at his eye. Can I touch it? Mm, no. Aww. It's all right, Monica. You'll have an eye. You'll have a chance to touch his eye one time. Don't worry about it. I know. I'm just sad. Come on. You made the lassie sad. How dare you? I mean, to be fair, we also just met. But we're already mates, huh? Good scope as he brings his shoulder around you and, like, kind of shakes you. We're already drinking, friends. Perfect.
Come on, let's go to the bar. You and me, friend. Okay. I am gonna go get our bud, though. As I... I'm gonna go get Sebastian. Okay. Finally, I have some room. Uh, I can't speak with animals. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you're a good company with right now. I can, you know, use a friend you can talk. Hi, 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 Sabmuth. Head empty. Only cuteness. Can I <laughs> check that? Head empty. Only cuteness. Is there a look of murder in his eyes? <laughs> Head empty. Only cuteness. You, you have the intelligence of a, of. I don't have intelligence. What is that? Is that the flavor of goblins? You, you haven't even eaten a goblin. That you know of. You. I've been with you like almost every moment of your life. He nuzzles your shoulder. What? Why are you speaking like that when you were choosing to make Ren grunts when it, you can? It feels natural. Wait, are, are you learning bear? It feels natural. It's how I speak. It's like smiles. You're learning bear finally. I'm so proud of you. He gives him a big hug. Yeah, Papa. I'm learning. Upon words, Papa, he's just full he's crying again. He just kept on crying. He's just crying again. <laughs> yeah. The thing. He just hugs silently. Papa. Hug. Good ending. Smile. Okay, moving up here. You guys can talk. But of course they're curious about me. I mean, look at me. Yes, yes, we know you. We know you come from this fit. Yep, their village. <clears throat> A village? No. A city. Same thing, just as more people. True. Well, shall we? Might as well, they're paying. <laughs> Sorry, we had like most of that conversation in chat. No, it's all good. <laughs> hey, hello, friend. I already got you a drink. Some premium oh, salt water. Lovely. Slides it to you. Guzzle up. Lovely. Open up your gullet and take a swig. Takes. I lug, guess lug, I will lug, take lug. a swig of it. Yep, make me a con save. Pretty good. You managed to hold your liquor. However, you cough once. Are you. Backspit a little bit as you take the drink as it, it is literally salt water combined with alcohol. So it's kind of pungent. Hey, friend. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're the special fuck. This one was talking about. Accurate. Yeah, I got him out. <laughs> oh, that's when good. I told him y'all were paying for food, though, too, so. Oh, yeah. Talk to Win about that. Win has all the money. Wins the gray mm. guy. The gray one. Noted. Alright, should we drink? So go. Should we go for a second round? I've, I'm all day on round eight, but I mean, if you want to catch up, go ahead. Uh, I doubt I will have that many, but I can definitely do another one. <laughs> Alrighty. 
as he hands you another drink. Make a con saving throw with disadvantage. Uh, which is control. Yep. Oh, okay. So an eight. Wrong button. That eight. fails. You are completely... You begin to feel the effects of being drunk. How you feeling, Lesser? Lad day. I'm... Well... I'm okay. Now it's time for you to open up about your in-depth and terrible character backstory to little dwarf man. Mm, I don't know. I don't know you that well. B boggers as <laughs> G stumbles to another room. <laughs> Clearly intoxicated. Okay. As these four begin, as these three begin drinking, Wanda's like hurriedly getting more and more drinks out. As soon as Sebastian walks in, however, the mood of the room kind of shifts. Hello, friends. Are we having a party? Oh, yeah, we're having a party. Welcome to join us. Splendid. I'll pull up a chair. I'm looking for the food. Get the food. Is there any food? Yeah, there's food. There's a whole slew of random food. Food. What kind of food? Uh, various fish, various crabs, crustaceans, um, some meat that is imported from other areas. Not a lot of vegetables, not a lot of greens or fruits. So it's mainly more of a uh, protein-based dinner. Ah, oh, finally, some people with taste. Yeah, we can't have none of that shit here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Quite. I'll raise my cup. Ah, uh... uh, good man. Pray tell, what are your names? I'm Sebastian. Ah, I'm, I'm Wynn. This is End, this is Bulwark or Bull, and this is Monocle. The one by the bar is Scope. A pleasure. Good to meet you. Make me a perception check. Perception. Oh. Or Insight. I accidentally left the game. Okay. Can't believe you would leave my game like that. <laughs> People leave. <laughs> People leave. People arrive. Loading. 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 I'm trying to find a like, good. I guess we could do this music. Uh, I will want to do one thing before we end this session because yeah. <laughs> uh... we have done. Okay, okay. Perception. Okay. Whenever, whenever he looks in your general direction, you notice that he subtly grits his teeth. You're unsure why, but it's something he does. Whether it's a character. Whether it's like a character tick or something, you're unsure. Um, I also, I cast Detect Magic. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna look them over. Okay. You get very clear magical sense from the three of these people. This one is specifically Abjuration. This one is, um, uh, what kind of magic would this be under? Radiant Magic. And this one is heavily necrotic. Mm -hmm. And is it coming from like their bodies or like items? It's coming from a mix. Um, mm -hmm. For her specifically, it's just her body. For his, it's his body as well. But it's him, it's a mix of his body as well as his weapons. Q, Q. So what brings you all to this humble establishment? We're looped, I think. Let me check that. They're a part of that uh, Tachai expedition that uh, Dakota told us about. 
go out east and deal with brethren. Oh, so you can talk. I can. <sighs> he doesn't talk much. Well, neither does he. Nods. Oh, I get it. Let your uh, actions speak for you. I am man of metal. I kill. Ask later. Um, Sebastian looks over at Monocle. Where did you find these two? Oh, well, he was the one that found me, actually. He's our, he's our group leader. We're all a bunch of misfits. Don't really have a home. He kind of found us together and we started grouping. He's been exiled by his clan. He left because he didn't really find his things exciting. He left his group that he was once a part of. And I simply just explore to find new people to experiment on. She gives you experiment. a smile. Oh, yeah. He smiled back. I experiment on people. What sort of experiments? Oh, I infuse them with magics that aren't normally cycled within the body. See how necrotic works, see how radiant works, see how other more foreign types of magic work. Things of that nature. Hmm. I'm looking for so, my first live subject. Almost like runes, but for people. Yes. People, people, bodies are surprisingly good conduits for magic. It is fascinating. Oh, don't I know it? And I'll, like, gesture to, like, my face. Hmm. <laughs> Quite a pretty face. Quite indeed. Wink. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Flushed. Pointer finger emoji. You look like the perfect experiment. Hmm. Decisions for later. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested. Hmm. But work must be done first. We're heading to... We're, we're planning to head to a Chai settlement out east. They've been pestered by Minotaurs and... We would like to make sure everything was okay, but also learn about the people there. Mm. Sounds straightforward. Yeah, we're waiting a couple days, though. We want to rest. We don't want to stay here too much longer. I get bad vibes about this place. Yeah, it's fucking weird. It's weird. I don't like Tell it. It, remi it reminds me of home. I hate it. Well, let's go get some drinks. Let's have some fun. Try to make the most of our swamp hell. Now we're talking. Who's interested? Who wants? Wait, what? Raise his hand. Who's interested in some drinks? I'll pass. Oh, I, I, I can get us some. All right, go get us some. Okay. Oh, that well. <laughs> No fun. Okay, so Lavalin will try to sneak off for a bit. Okay, you can pretty e you can pretty easily sneak off. These two aren't really focusing yeah, on you. So I don't know. I'm gonna go here. I think was my room. Yep. And I'm gonna talk to my book. Alrighty. And I and I wanted to ask you if you are going to let me use my nut twenty from my birthday. Sure. <laughs> Okay, or a faith so... check? Or what, to contact them? Sorry, sorry, one second. Okay, you're good. Okay, sorry. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to, just for my int save, yeah? Okay. Uh, so Alrighty, I need you to make an int save for me, which you can use your nat 20 on. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna. So do what is that total? Well, oh, uh, oh, sorry, twenty six, not twenty four. Ooh, okay. Twenty six. Twenty four total. Wait, that doesn't uh, seem. That, that don't seem. No, no, because. Uh, yeah, the saving he throw. Rolled, he the, rolled by accident. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. the saving throw is the one on the really... saving throw is the one on the uh, the right. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you, my friend, summon the world archivist. I oh, wow. don't know if I have his token here, but I can make that real quickly. Um. Okay, don't mind me, the man behind the curtain. You guys feel free to feel free to speak while I'm doing said thing. Can talk amongst yourselves. Uh, well, this place down. is far too drab. Um, Sebastian will stand up, unsheath rune saber. He'll jump. How high is the ceiling in here? Ten feet. Ten feet. Okay, he'll jump up and stab rune saber into the ceiling. Okay. <laughs> and then he'll cast prestidigitation to make like lights shoot out of it. <laughs> Oh, okay. disco ball. Like yeah, like a disco ball. Okay. And he'll he'll <laughs> fl and while it when he stabs it into the ceiling, it'll like start vibrating, and he activates Blade Song and it starts playing music. Okay. <laughs> Good shit. That's the best use of spells I've <laughs> been abilities I've seen in a long time. Okay. As you do that, the magic begins to dim within Lavalin's room as someone approaches. Your grimoire flashes with gray energy, and a uh, creature begins to form in its stead. I need to get his thing uh, up. Okay, so... The creature looks down at you as his eye flickers with bluish energy. Oh, I didn't expect to see you in person again. Well, anyway. The scene begins to shift, as because you rolled a natural 20 on your int save, instead of being, instead of asking the grimoire a question, you teleport into his mini plane itself. So oh. the tavern begins to slowly shift and change as rows and rows of library, or of, of bookshelves begin to line your vision. For hundreds of feet forward, and behind you, and above you, and below you. You are in an eternal library of knowledge. Okay, I didn't Welcome, expect that. Welcome, my child. How can I help you? Uh, greetings. So, could you tell me more about the meeting that is going on with the Amber folks? Twists his finger. You watch as more glitched energy begins to circulate around his pointer finger as a book flies from the 75th floor of the library down into his into the palm of his hand as he begins flipping. You want to learn more about the meeting of titans, correct? I suppose that's correct. The meeting of titans is a meeting comprised of the many different figures within the Balnum Archipelago, flips page, on the 5th of Fetair, 1478, in two days. Do you think we can make it in time? No chance. Even with an airship, that is not enough time. So what do we do? Well, funnily enough, one of my other followers is one of your friends. He is also an exalt. The two of them shall be in contact with one another, and hopefully there is a chance where all five exalts can meet in one room. For real. I see. So what do you, what's, are you, do you have any suggestions for us? Or for me? Your natural course will more than likely lead you to this location. 
your job, as I've seen in the stories, are pretty important. As towers of colors will begin to form across the world, it is your job to connect them all together. And the key lies in the swamp. Can I ask you one more question? Indeed. Can you tell me more about the Amber? What would you like to know? Mm. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, what does Amber seek by? Uh, by I don't know if this if that's the correct word, but infecting people with their magic. Amber, as researchers know it, is the law of order and chaos. As order exists, so too does chaos in a horseshoe. Amber can take both forms. You have seen the law capabilities of the Amber through your friend here. But chaos can take the form of what we know as Amber Depraved. People who have lost themselves to the Amber and have become corrupted and felled versions of who they once were, becoming servants of the enemy. Does this Amber has any, I mean, this deprived Amber does hit, have any looks? Can we like... You would be able to tell. Oh, I see. As the Amber has almost consumed them as a whole, making them look devilish, demonic, more animalistic. Any undesirable traits has been brought forth to the surface. I guess then it's not the adventurers in the tavern. Well, anyway, thank you. Anytime. I shall do by your will. As he nods, and then a tear through the tavern floor begins to emerge. Almost black static begins to form through the tear as the world archivist sinks through the tear and then the wood almost seemingly out of nowhere repairs itself. Okay. <laughs> Lavalan will take grasp of himself and go fastly take some drinks from the bar, like 10, I guess. Okay. I don't know if there are any plates. <laughs> Did you get lost in a mini plane or something? Holy shit. This guy's taking a while, huh? Okay, and I'm gonna rush with the drinks. <laughs> oh, yes, here I am. And I'm gonna take, uh, give everyone a drink. Man, did you like slip and fall and fall unconscious? Ah, uh, no, more like I've been in space. <laughs> but anyway, let's drink. Okay, I like the sound of that. These two begin drinking, these two do not. Who in the party begins drinking? Well, I will take one. Okay. Okay. Sebastian also begins drinking. What about you, Falcon? I think I heard your speech bubble, but didn't hear you speak. Uh, sorry, I was holding it. No. Uh, Sab uh, Sab already had a conversation with Augie about he's not drinking. Okay. What about you, Mums? Callan drinking? Yeah, I'm gonna have a drink. All right, everyone who's drinking, I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. For me. Mm. I'm so bad. Okay. Okay. Surprisingly, the only one that begins to feel intoxicated is Callan. As the, the, the alcoholic saltwater beverage is a lot more repugnant and 
it's harder to consume it because of how repugnant it smells. However, you eventually do and you begin to feel inebriated. Ah, it's disgusting, but it hits the spot. Thank you for the light show. Looks amazing. Are, are, well, we are have... you under the deafened spell? I, I'm afraid I can't hear you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I saw... Uh, the show has just begun. Sebastian starts dancing. <laughs> oh, let me join you. Up. Oh, oh. She begins dancing. I joined the dance. We oh. have three drinks left, so I'm gonna take another hit. <laughs> okay. Make me con saving throw. With Easy. disadvantage. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. Easy. Surprisingly, <laughs> due, wow. To your, due to your, due to your, I guess, sturdy physique, you're able to take the drinks a lot heavier than a normal person can. Sebastian oh, God. Wow. Pretty good. Oh, he's got some nice dance moves. Um, I start like dancing with Monocle. Okay. And like spin her. Oh. Like, over this direction. Fancy. <laughs> She's going to do the same. Yeah, almost, her strength is almost surprising as she spins you around and does the same. Does like the very thing where she grabs your back and then, oh, I don't know what the move call, moves called, but like, lets you fall or something. I don't know. I don't know dance moves. I, do, I know what you're talking about, but I can't think of the name either. Yeah. <laughs> roll performance. Very good dancer. <laughs> I should roll performance. Yep, roll me performance. Hi. Wait, I just saw it. Roll it. Oof. Dang. Okay, your your shared DC is pretty good. Your dance is actually quite good. The chemistry that both of you have is seemingly very natural as your tango is doing pretty well. This is fun. This is nice. I have... Oh, he doesn't speak. Never mind. Mm. Dance. Look good. Win. Want dance? No, I would never dance with you in your life. Sad. Um, Sebastian gestures over to his comrades. On your feet, friends. <laughs> uh, before that... Carolyn, are you alright? Colin? As Colin stumbles through his feet. Uh, perhaps we should get you to bed. <laughs> nah, let him enjoy the dance. Come on. He looks rusty. Let him dance a little bit. I will invite Sub to dance. You want I'm just gonna... you want dance with Bull? No, I said no. Uh, th th thank you, Lavin, but the Bull seems pretty sad. I wanna help him out. Oh, hey, okay. Bull. Oh, even the dead one is Come getting down to me. You want dance with Bull? Yes. Okay. He tramples over Wynn and begins moving through. Uh, he's very clumsy when he when he moves, but he towers over you like a giant as he begins to dance. 
I'm four feet. Um, it's not hard to tower over me. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Bull, 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 bull. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Sebastian just starts laughing hysterically. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Lavalin will try to dance. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. He will like uh, lie on the floor and you know like grab his legs and you know only back he touches you know uh, the floor and he will like spin. I don't know if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. Like a fucking breakdance, but bad. Um, Sebastian oh, will does. front flip over one go onto the table. Augie uh, does like his like circus performance. His... Acrobatic check. Yep, give me an acrobatic check. Um, plates long practice so I get advantage. All right, thirteen. <laughs> You jump over her and land on the table as she looks at you in amazement. Seeing wow. his backflip Quite sabotage flexible. tries to replicate it. Okay, roll me an acrobatics check. I really want him to fail. <laughs> 19. Dang, he did well. <laughs> you jump over. You manage to jump over the giant minotaur's horns and he looks at you surprised. Wow, you jump well as he pi as he picks right as he picks you up i can make you jump higher uh, all right as, as he I, as I, he I, picks I, you up and throws you against the wall ah uh, donk <laughs> oh my god Sabmud, you're knocked unconscious oh my god oh. easy there friend Bull work, bull work, bull work. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Sebastian, oh, ah. like, he goes into a one handed handstand, and then upon seeing this bull just yeet Sabwood, just like bursts out laughing and collapses. <laughs> ah, I should go make sure he's okay and he doesn't die. Augie Singh. Sebastian, laugh at. Sabma just kind of like pushes up against him. <laughs> Sebastian kisses Augie. Angry bear noises. <laughs> Bull work. Bull work. Bull work. As he keeps pounding his chest. Oi, where the hell did my friend go? I thought the little lassie. Oh, where, where did, where, where did Cloak Lady go? Where did the Cloak Lady go? Oh, of course, you're walking out. Where are you going? Friend? Of course, it was doing something. What are you doing? Keep, keep going. I'm not gonna interrupt the scene. Okay. Cloak Lady went away. I can't believe I didn't see her. Pop, 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 pop. What's going on in here? Little potty? Yes, they're just having a bit of a dance. Join them if you want to. All righty. You, you should take a drink, friend. I'm all right. I just want to make sure my friend here doesn't hurt himself. <laughs> okay, he begins dancing. Bulwark and Bulwark and Scope are doing like this dance where they're like, ooh, ah, they're doing like a, I don't know what the dance is called. They're doing like Samoan dances where they um, they like slam their chests and then they yeah, slam like their knees. Yeah, they're doing tribal chants. Cause of, that's I my dance badass. on Discord. Okay. <laughs> I've always wanted to have this? a D and D dance party. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
<laughs> nice. My man's be back flipping and back spinning. Spins. Like spinning. Spin. I appreciate that this is on stream too. <laughs> he spins. <laughs> so great. He do be spinning. All right. However, as the night wears on, eventually everyone begins getting tired. As. Uh, the yep. You you are you are stabilized, uh, and wind puts you to bed. Uh, It's all right. It's all right, friend. Take a nap. Take a nap. As when begins walking out. Doggy. Um, as we're like, um, I guess heading off to bed, Sebastian will whisper a monocle. I pass out. You know, it's going to be quite cold tonight. Ah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I'm going to shoot you down. I don't swing that way. Nice. Maybe some other time. She gives you a thumbs up. Ah. Uh, well, can't fault the man for trying. She gives you a kiss on the cheek and then leaves. Is Lavala, like, passed out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help while I'm to his feet. <laughs> you impressed me, friend. <laughs> Lava. <laughs> Sebastian's like, I want to kill them now. Dead. They're all dead. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll pull her and save her out of the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, and nice. as she kissed your cheeks, she said, meet us at the northern entrance tomorrow, or in a couple of days. I, a couple of days? Mm-hmm. I'll help Lavel into his room. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And as everyone's beginning to go to sleep, where's Korzu going? Korzu has wandered back to that body. Okay. Is it still there? It is. It's being examined, and it's begun to uh, have been pushed or eaten by uh, insects, parasites, and things of that like. Korzu will still very drunkenly kind of like, ugh, lean down and look at the amber a bit closer. Then he'll say a small prayer to Zylo, asking for her guidance and what to do in this situation. Alrighty. I need you to make me a faith check. That will be a... Give me one moment as I go over to the tables and trackers. For Zylo, that will be a 6. So 1d20 slash 6. Ooh, okay. Stand by as I make her tile. The two sessions that we've been in the bar have been the best. <laughs> it's yeah, really this good. Is, <laughs> this is the best session, yeah. man. Well, last time from fighting with Amber Guardian to dancing, having a dance party. That's how they do in the swamp. <laughs> okay. Since it's happened two sets in a row, I want this to be a consistent thing of Sabma just getting, being pretty fine and then all of a sudden instantly he's just out um where is her image i i shouldn't have deleted them like a, a stupido i'm sorry this is something that i just nah, thought about nah, nah, it's all good man not worry about it we're chilling and we're grilling 
and I gotta do this and this and then we go down to this and that and that and that and that that and that oh, wait hold on make sure her name is always displayed as the feature or as the creature begins to form in the shadows itself she begins looking over to you what a sad fate that has befallen this person it is a sad fate i i'm curious though this amber Hmm. Peculiar indeed. What do you make of it? Well, it seems like it's come from some sort of blade. That would That's be correct. It right now. It seems like it can be secreted from a blade of some kind. And as a final sentence of death has been used to kill this person. What I don't understand, though, is um, where they would have gotten this amber. She waves her hand and you are no longer drunk. We cannot have you been drinking on the job. Look, it was just, like, four. <laughs> I'm fine with you indulging in vices, but please, this is a serious conversation. I'm trying. I thought about this a lot. I do not, I do not, I do not talk to my followers often, so take of this as a gift. I'm aware. Of all the time, I think this is the first, if not the second. <laughs> Good. But now, back to the body. What are some things you've noticed? First thing is definitely the symbolage on it, though. Indeed. Oh. A spiral cut in half. An amber spiral cut in half. I haven't seen anything like this before. So what do we do? Do we try an experiment on it? Or rather, I try, as I know it's not easy for you to, given the gods I will, and all that i want to see you do an experiment i want to watch my dear little kozu try go forward go ahead i will not save you if you fall you've read the terms and conditions i hope it's been a while it could have been updated <laughs> and you can't see it, but you get the idea that she's smirking underneath her cloak. Yes, I figured it has. Please, go ahead and try. As she forms a scalpel and um, a bone saw in both of your hands. In one and then, the end, in, and then in the other. I will, tr I will try and cut around the spiral blade. Okay. Careful not to touch the amber quite yet. Make me a medicine check. Hmm. Ooh, 19. Good start. You take out the bones on the scalpel and you begin to cut in a diamond-shaped pattern. As you begin to do so, 
The body is almost uncharacteristically slimy as you cut through the dead meat. Amber, gooey pieces as if you're cutting into like a Twix bar begins to form in its place. Hmm, interesting development. It turned his insides into goo. Keep going. I will take the scalpel and more so move around the insides, just trying to get it out of the way, trying to get a clear look at the amber directly itself. Okay. Roll me another medicine check. Ooh, rolling hot today. Okay. You begin to move the pieces of the scalpel and you get more of an idea of the weapon that done this. It appears to be a dagger of some kind. A dagger that clearly emanates magic because there is a little bit of magic that has still a little bit of residue within the within the cuts itself of necrotic magic. Hmm. Interesting. Necrotic. I wonder who could have done this. Have I seen... Right. What weapons did I see on the other adventuring party? Oh, right. You saw the following weapons. Two battle axes. Two battle axes on the Minotaur. You saw a hand crossbow on the dwarf. Uh, a hand crossbow and a couple of knives on the dwarf. A quarter staff and magical focuses on the wizard. The the other the the pallet elf had a clerical armor and a mace, and the main person had a couple of daggers and a two long swords and scimitars. He seemed to be very well kitted. Did you know while you're thinking, a little bit of tidbits of information? Do you know who Aura Dala is? Would I know that? Yeah, you would know. He goes by the moniker of the Lord of Fire, and he recently ascended the Godhood. Um, he's he was known as the leader of the Order of Phoenicius. Uh, they are a ragtag group of pirates that managed to do things that no other pirate group has done before, burning a place that has been seen as a capital of order, and has thrown the Valnum into chaos. Well, interestingly enough, the gods have begun to, well, make moves on him, I should say. We have begun partaking in god trials to see him destroyed, but I don't know how that's going so far. Not in my repertoire. More Moira's job. But it's something that I think you in the audience should know about. He looks to the camera. She looks back to you. What have you learned? that I don't trust this party much anymore. Why is that? Dagger of... Um, actually, real quick, I guess I do need to ask Falcon, did you tell us about that vision? Uh, the giant one? Yes. Yeah, I... Samba described it very poorly. He described it as giant neck snap there were daggers kill giant that's how samba described it basically that's what you got good to know well don't trust this group as much anymore given i don't know it sounds like very close information 
and these wounds. Killed her head. That could be the case. But how many people wield daggers? A lot. Hmm. <laughs> True. I'm playing devil's advocate. You're here to come to your own conclusions. I'm not here to spoon feed you answers. Make your own decisions. <laughs> I know that. I'm going to try and move the amber directly with the scaffold now. Okay. Make me a constitution saving throw. Decent enough. As you begin to move the amber with the scalpel, you get the sense that it's alive? You don't know how to explain it, other than the fact that it's pulsating still, even after the creature itself is dead. As you begin picking at the amber itself, the scalpel slowly begins to burn, which you instinctually push it back. Hmm. Still alive? Feeding off That's the corpse? New one. Feeding off the corpse, maybe. A host? This amber is very confusing. I guess that's the point, though. I'm gonna roll a D100. Okay. All right. Yep. Continue. I'm gonna try and turn undead. To see if there is an undead within 30 feet of me. There is an undead within 30 feet of you. Uh, well, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh. <laughs> I guess the secret's out, huh? <laughs> well <laughs> and she will take she will begin to take off her veil and as she does that is where we'll end the session there. nice you got Ooh. the god that never reveals this As other things begin to happen, I need you to make a perception check real quickly, and that will be the end of the session. Oh, good. The amber in the body has moved less than an inch in the center of that body. It is very faint, but you have noticed it. You don't know if it's from your picking at it with the scalpel or if it moved itself, but the fact that it moved means that it's still alive. Whatever it is. And that, I'm going to leave you on that note. As we pick up next week, we'll figure out what happened or what is going to happen. Oh my. Good fucking session, Ampo. Good fucking session. That was start, good. I will start <laughs> fucking cool. clapping, that's, that's... but I will wake up everyone. I have been Empo. 
We'll see you guys on Sunday with the penultimate session of the founding of Ironhole. Wait, it's penultimate again? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Well, it's the it's the pen, it's the penultimate fight, but this session is the pen the penultimate session of the campaign. Uh, also, ooh. on Saturday we have a very special one shot with all the exults. That will be at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to learn a little bit about the lore and specific things about why things are happening now, tune into that one shot and maybe some of those questions will be answered. However, I've been Empo. You guys have been my players. Thank you so much for playing and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Go get some dinner, food, water, sleep for your European people. You're late. It's late for you. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.